Hello everybody, welcome to our market report. So today it is an exciting day because we're going to use MACD to be able, of course, to help you determine what is an ideal entry point, a breakout, a buying technical signals. So what is MACD? It only allows you, of course, to trade uh, shorter term uh, cycles uh, suppose to the moving average, which is mostly used for longer term scope of movement. So, of course, MACD moves faster than the moving average, and it allows you, of course, to make some money in the short term cycles. So, what do we use in our software, Market Vision Plus? Well, to you, the MACD that we use uh, is uh, this one here, moving average, and you see we use 7287, and the green line here, that's the shorter term. Uh, MACD, uh, the yeah, the white line here that will be the signal, the signal line. So, what is a MACD and how do you determine if it's a strong movement or not? Well, first of all, you need two things. You need first of all uh, the green line to cross the signal line, which is in white. Another or first uh, criteria, but another criteria to be able, of course, to determine the strength of the MACD is only to see it in positive territory. So let's say that this is a zero line, so this is the positive territory, and this is negative territory. So that's the second criteria, criteria you should take into account. So let's stay technical. Let's forget for the moment the MACD here. So Apple, where would it be an ideal entry point to buy it? Well, me, I see it here. Because first of all, you see that Apple, that's a downward trend because the stock continue to went down. And you see at this point here, that's when Apple reverted its downward trend. So here you will say, yes, that's an ideal entry point because first of all, Apple reverted its downward trend when it, when it uh, made that uh, quote here, but also that was a side reformation. And you see, when you have a side reformation that the stock broke through at this point, you have all the ingredients to say, yes, that's a goal for Apple. But how do you, do you determine that this breakout here is not going to be a false signal? Well, that's where MACD comes into account to confirm a breakout. So here you see at this point here, when Apple made that surge, what happened? Well, you see that the, first of all, the green line crossed the signal line, which is in white. So another first criteria that was met, but also it was getting back in positive territory. So you see you have all of the ingredients, the two criteria that I've given to you earlier to be able, of course, to confirm like, yes, Apple is a good buy here. But first of all, you should first Think, take into account the salary. The starting point should be the fact that, technically speaking, you see that Apple reverted its downward trend, and then after use MACD to confirm that if this breakout is good, and when you see that the, the ingredients are there, which means that the green line, which is a shorter term, touches crosses the signal line, which is in white, it is in positive territory. Well, then you have the ingredients to confirm that Apple is a nice entry point. Because if you entered here at 384. Apple went to 426. That's a lot of dough in your pocket. So, folks, that's all we got for you for the moment for this market report. Also, don't forget to always follow us on Facebook, DecisionPlus.com. We'll be able, of course, to always share with you some trading and investing tips. So see you for our next market report on YouTube.com. And don't forget to always look at the Swing Trading Show on DecisionPlus.com. Thank you. To learn more about us, go to decisionplus.com on the section free trial to try marketguru.tv.